Hi, and welcome to today's lecture. I'm Taya, and I'm here to teach you all about art history. The Mona Lisa has to be the most famous artwork in the world. When we hear her name, we all know what she looks like and can easily picture it in our minds. There is no doubt that this work is beautiful and well painted, but there is a question many have asked before. Why is she so famous? Well, to put it simply, this is the result of many circumstances and changes that, when combined, exacerbated the work's public appeal. So, what is the Mona Lisa? The Mona Lisa is a half-length portrait by the Italian Renaissance master Leonardo da Vinci. The work has been described as the best known, the w most visited, the most written about, the most sung about, the most parodied work of art in the world. The work is an oil painting on poplar wood panel, painted somewhere between 1503 and 1519 during da Vinci's time in Florence. The painting shows a young woman in a half-body portrait with a distant landscape in the background. The three-quarter view, where the woman is slightly turned towards the viewer, was distinctly different to the standard portrait conventions of the time, but quickly became the standard and used well into the 20th century. The subject's face is a perfect example of the artist's impressive smarter skills and demonstrates his deep understanding of anatomy and the skull beneath the skin. Leonardo's patience is evident through the delicate veil, which many miss, the wrought tresses and the folded fabric. There is a harmony to the painting that is likely a reflection of the artist's belief in a cosmic link between humanity and nature, impressively shown in the way the curves of the sitter's hair are echoed in the valleys and rivers seen in the background. The Mona Lisa, though not entirely famous until the 20th century, set the standard for all future portraits. Where can you find the Mona Lisa? The Mona Lisa now lives in the Louvre Museum in Paris, France. However, I have to advise it is not as simple as just walking into the museum and finding her. Due to security measures, you should order a ticket in advance, as waiting in a line can take anywhere up to two hours. And how much is the Mona Lisa actually worth? Well, considering inflation, it is estimated that this work is worth $850 million. In 1962, the Mona Lisa was insured for $100 million, which corresponds to approximately $870 million today. Though there is speculation as to how much this piece could be sold for if it ever were to be, both the Louvre and the French government consider the Mona Lisa to be a treasure that would be virtually impossible to sell under normal circumstances. Many have argued for the work to be sold to assist in alleviating the national debt, However, the French government see the Mona Lisa as more than just some old painting, and they, alongside many citizens, are unwilling to let go of their beloved national treasure. For reference, another work by Leonardo da Vinci, Salvatore Mundi, painted around 1500, was sold at auction in 2017 for a record-breaking $475.4 million. Now just imagine if this was the beloved Mona Lisa. Some speculate that it could sell for at least $50 billion. One of the biggest questions in regard to this painting is who was Mona Lisa? Though there has been much speculation, the subject of the Mona Lisa is Lisa Gherardini of Florence, the wife of a wealthy merchant leader. The merchant, Francisco del Giocondo, was a successful consul of the Silk Guide and owned many silk workshops. The real Mona Lisa was born in 1479 to a noble family of ancient Florentines, and she lived a happy life. She married her husband in 1495 and they had six children. It was said they were deeply in love with one another. Lisa developed a platonic friendship with Leonardo da Vinci during her first year of marriage, and it was a big achievement when her husband commissioned her portrait. Da Vinci did not typically have time for people of their stature, but he found Lisa inspiring, feeling he had to paint her. While he painted the portrait, which took about 10 years, the friends wrote many letters and spent time together. 
He completed many drafts and consistently would revise his sketches in an attempt to perfectly reflect her charm. He liked the portrait so much he would later bring it to France and he was willing to pay £4,000 for it, which equates to around £3 million in 2021. Here are five times the Mona Lisa was vandalised or stolen. We can actually give Italian Vincenzo Peruga credit for assisting in the world's praise and knowledge of the Mona Lisa. In 1911, Peruga and two other men hid in a closet at the Louvre until the museum closed and then took the painting, which at the time was only considered a minor work by da Vinci. The theft gained worldwide press, and the work was found over two years later when Peruga attempted to sell the work to a dealer in Florence. He spent six months in jail, and the Mona Lisa was returned to the Louvre. The masterpiece was vandalised twice in 1956. First, when a vandal attempted to cut the work with a razor blade, which was ultimately unsuccessful, and second, when a Bolivian man tossed a rock at the painting. The man stated, I had a stone in my pocket, and suddenly the idea to throw it came to mind. Thankfully, the work is behind a glass plane, so no damage could be done. The small chip that was a result of the rock hitting the glass was easily repaired by French experts. There are only a handful of times the Mona Lisa has ever left the Louvre, one being Tokyo in 1974, where a reported 1.15 million people saw it at the National Museum in Tokyo. On the first day of its visit, a 25-year-old Japanese woman attempted to spray paint the canvas in red. The exhibition had been at the centre of discussion among disability activists in the days before opening, who claimed the museum was discriminating against those with disabilities. Taking matters into her own hands, the woman managed to get around 30 droplets of red spray paint onto the canvas before she was detained. On an ordinary day in 2009, a Russian woman came into the Louvre and smashed a teacup against the painting. It is reported that she did so because she had been denied French citizenship. And just a few weeks ago, the Mona Lisa was smeared with cake in what is being considered a protest against climate change. There are videos of the incident which were posted over social media. The man can be heard saying, there are people who are destroying the earth. All artists think about the earth. That's why I did this. Think of the planet. The Mona Lisa was revolutionary for contemporary portrait painting. Leonardo set the standard for three-quarter posing and his use of preliminary sketches encouraged others to make freer studies of their work. The incredible story of this work has contributed to it becoming the world's most famous artwork. Her faint smile and her soft eyes have captured our collective attention and has never let it slip.